Hellhorned Stygian still needs to com be completed. Screw uh, Awoken Umbra. We'll move everything left one more time. Hellhorn Stygian, let's do it. Lexmer, you have a good night. Take care. Vent, energy siphon, important work. Sacrifice imp, gain two energy, draw one cards, consume Seraph. What the heck are we gonna do here? What do we got, what do we got? Frozen Lance, Torches, Vent. Really, I don't think we have great cards to go along with either of these champions, but I think the Rage Champion is just one of the best champions in the entire game, to be perfectly honest with you. Cheaper Shops is also fantastic. Hello, save and chat, how's it going? Welcome. Long time no see. Enemy units appear on each floor. I'll do it, we'll get some torches. And uh, we also have frozen lances. We have a lot of targeted spell damage, unlike the last run, where we did not have targeted spell damage. Zane's also going to sleep. Fine, everyone can leave me, but also you have a good night as well. I hope everyone has a good night, even though they're leaving me. Okay, can we kill you before you all kill me? Mmm. You know what I think you do? I think you do. I think you do this. This. And then this. And you know what? This is not that bad either. Torch. Torch. Frozen Lance. We need one more torch. Or a vent. We do a lot of targeted spell damage. We're not getting many kills, but that's okay. We get, did get the torch and the vent. I do not think I can arrange for you to die, though. Actually, I bet you I could. Nope. Well, hold up. 19 damage. This will do four less, so you'll have... Th uh, it's not gonna do it. Well, if it's not gonna do it... We'll do this. You know what, we should have played a torch on this guy. I I bet we're gonna draw a torch, though. I'm not that worried. Uh, but our uh, top floor is looking mighty impotent right now. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's not great. Or you're gonna hit up higher th uh, three times? I hate taking half of my pyre health on the first fight, but we don't have anything that synergizes with our champion at all. Now we do. And Titan's Tooth is incredible AoE. Lady Era is still here, just working on my doll. Thank you for that. At least someone is still here. Stygian is hard enough as your main clan. I hate trying them as secondary. The champion upgrade that makes spells cost less for them is fantastic. I usually don't have a problem playing spells. The problem I have is just keeping the Frostbite champion alive because they get hit once to anything and they die. They're kind of garbage like that. I think spell upgrades are more important. Units are good, but with the, the Rage Champion, we love stuff like 10 armor holdover. Plus 10 magic power, you know? On a vent, that's pretty good. And we can make Titan's Tooth, yeah, we can make Titan's Tooth cost two and still have the energy for a, uh, a holdover. Dude, the armor card is now just absurdly valuable. <laughs> Just absurdly, absurdly valuable. And you know what? I'll take a, a consume vent. I don't care. Dude. I think I chose correctly with the upgrade path. This is lovely. Enemy units enter with armor 10. Well, I do have some vents that can deal with that situation right now. Tripaker says, what am I, chop liver? You didn't say you were still here. Specifically. <laughs> He hates me, lady, I swear. I don't hate you much. Um, can I keep you alive? I can. You're gonna make it up, though. What are we looking for? Titan's Tooth Fence? I think we'll put you up here to take less damage. Try to ice some units before they move up. An event will kill everything, but it means we're not doing anything. 
What the heck else are we gonna do on the turn? I mean, we could play the vent down here. I could play it for two? You do need rage. You'll have six rage. I think we have to take pyre damage, and I think the reason is because I need units to to hit my champion and make him stronger. Now I suppose I could just torch you to make you stronger. Which feels wrong, but actually is oh so right, I think, because we're gonna have the armor card hopefully soon. I told you, I told you. Yep, 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 don't worry about it, don't worry about it, guys, don't worry about it, we'll get it, we'll draw it soon, we'll draw it soon, we'll draw it soon. Anyways, thank you for the haste. At least we can apply 10 more armor before the end is nigh. Okay, I think we got you now. We have enough damage that I don't think this is gonna be a problem. Still a little scary, but much better than the last combat now that we actually have some good cards that synergize with our champion. Hey, that's weird. Having good cards makes it better, what? We don't need another Fortify, duplicating the one we have is better. Offering Helical Crypt Builder. Offering getting you a free Titan's Tooth doesn't matter when it costs one. Raw damage is pretty good. We don't really have a, a good source of spell weakness. Energy Siphons is okay, but it's not like, not like we have a sweep unit. I think I'll take it for damage though. Revenge Frostbite, Resolve Armor, Armor Strike Push. Hmm. This is a tough one. <laughs> Because the Titan Sentry, with Revenge, can kill a lot of weak units, but you want the, the weak units to hit the champion, ideally. If you can give the champion spikes somehow, maybe he, he could get some kills on him. The Steelworker for the armor is okay as a tank, but you want your champion to tank. The Steelworker could be on another floor, but is the armor five really that good? Ideally, we would get the uh, artifact that gives more armor, though. The rail beater to strike and push an enemy around. Sometimes that works well, sometimes it doesn't really matter. Like if there's weak units in the front, who cares if they're in the front? You know, you'll hit them once and kill them. I got no freaking idea. I, 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 I honestly just have no idea. We're not relying on frostbite really, but maybe the Titan Sentry. I don't know, give me the Steelworker. If, if we get the artifact that gives you more armor, this is the unit that we're gonna want for that. I think we'll go units. Demon Fiend branded warrior. It's hard to play the Demon Fiend, but I'll still take him anyways. An Endless Imp is pretty darn good. It's all of our money. But we can put a lot of armor on our champion, and that is a major improvement. Purge, gain 40 gold, X. We don't need targeted damage spells. So we'll take Gift of Gratitude, and then, you know, if we can get three energy, it's 120 gold, which is pretty nice. Not really what we're looking for out of that, but if we find ourselves on a turn with nothing else to do, we'll play it. We're gonna have to take energy though, which is kind of unfortunate. Cause all, all of our other cards are cheap, but hopefully, hopefully if we add more expensive cards, we can get more value out of it, I suppose. So you have damage shield, sucks. Are we okay with you taking an additional 10? Honestly, not really. So we're gonna make sure we get a kill on you next turn and that way we can Help our champion heal up a little bit and get strong. 
get real strong. And honestly, that's looking like a pretty good turn right there. We can we can buff our champion too, you know, give him the rage every single turn. He's gonna be he's gonna be real strong. I don't care if it makes you stronger. Let's be honest. Uh, we're getting hit twice. There's no way I can kill you with the champion, I don't think. That's why we're taking 14. So we'll just ice you slowly. Now we will kill you guys. No, 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 we gotta do a little bit more damage. That'll do it. Now we're getting a kill. Because I don't think we were getting a kill otherwise. But now the... How'd you make it up? You made it up? <laughs> you made it up, wait a minute. That's not how that's supposed to work. We're not getting the kill anymore, but now we are. Um, dump you. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. A little bit of damage there. Honestly, this is a pretty decent fight. Con considering how, like, not fantastic it was, it's a pretty decent fight. Dude, wait a minute. Important work holdover is free imp and free energy every turn, which we can use to pay for expensive cards. Have I made, like, a brilliant plan. I think I made a brilliant plan. Well, it's kind of the turn I was <laughs> hoping to have <laughs> for Gift of Gratitude. Okay, okay. Sweet, I might have had a brilliant plan. One holdover. Maybe we can pop this run wide open. Transcend him. Very good. Gift for a guard. Very good. Deep offering. Eh. Gift for a guard also is not amazing. We don't have expensive spells. So Transcend Imp is okay. Spell weakness is kind of what I was hoping for out of this. Though a Horde Warrior just to hit hard is nice. And if we can ascend or descend, then we can put Horde Warrior on the same floor as our champion slash Demon Fiend. Although if the Demon Fiend's behind the champion, we might not need a Horde Warrior. Quick is good on the Silo fight. We need the energy. Okay, pretty good. I like it. By the way, yes, I'm ignoring Twitch chat. Everyone's just saying they want to see me, what I look like. I don't have a cam. Maybe one day. It's nice to hear people say, though, this is how I found Abe. Oh, I accidentally clicked, but this is actually the path I wanted to take anyways. I want, you know, I found his Gungeon content first and then found him on Twitch, or I just wanted to watch someone play Terraria, says Lady Era, and I didn't realize, I didn't think about it, but that is about the time that you showed up, and so that makes sense. That makes sense that that's when you, uh, you showed up. It makes sense that a lot of people are saying Gungeon, though, because I played a lot of Gungeon. I think that's what a lot of people like in particular. Twigbreaker says it's also because he played Spire in FTL, and I do have an extensive FTL series. Consume, restore five pyre health. We can, we can probably consume a couple of cards. I think it's the best choice there, which is sad. <laughs> Another strike spell weakness. Weirdly enough, I don't think we need units. I think we just need to thin out the deck and add better spells. And by add better spells, I mean remove the crappy spells we have and hold over the good stuff. Aww. Keep building the wrath. All right, let's do this. Let's see what happens. Enemy units appear in each floor. For 150 gold, I'll do it. I don't expect this to be that, that bad. That hard. <sighs> Not Bill Murray says, I never understood the Twitch channels where the streamer doesn't even speak. It's just like it's just a feed of the game with someone sitting silently in the corner. If they have a cam, yeah, <laughs> I can agree on that one. Okay. I think we'll do this. This. And then honestly, I kind of like these guys 
only having one HP. Maybe we can hit him with a vent. We can get you weaker so that the champion can kill. Oh, the champion's gonna kill you anyways. That's six damage, who cares? One vent is all we need for the top floor, or Titan's Tooth, we have the vent as well. This is a good turn. With the possible exception that I might not be able to play the Demon Fiend, because I really want to prevent 12 Pyre damage. It's going to be Titan's Tooth, Vent. No, yeah, it's Titan's Tooth here for the Frostbite, Vent up here. And then we can't play the Demon Fiend. Problem is, if we don't play the Demon Fiend, we're not really killing units as they move up. I mean, we're doing five damage on this floor. You're hitting once for 50. You're killing a unit, but then something's gonna make it up and then we can't deal with them. I think we gotta play the Demon Fiend. And then we gotta choose whether or not we want 75 gold or 12 pyre damage. I think I would rather lose the gold. This is what I want from the units, though. We're, we're killing enemies as they move up, except for you, but we'll deal with you later. draw you again next turn. You do 57 damage. Frozen Lances don't really do anything, but that's okay. Hopefully the spell weakness with a couple of good spells can allow us to punch through these enemies a little bit faster, like this. We'll keep buffing your armor, why not? You know, that'll get kills. Oops. I didn't really want it to kill everyone, but that's okay. We healed the pyre. <laughs> you're taking 32 damage. I don't think you're making it past the second floor, just saying. Unfortunately, I think you, you don't really care about anything else. Rage, I don't think, is the play. I think you honestly just hit something. Eight spell weakness is pretty good. All we need is like one great spell to kill you. I guess you're dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, that worked. No demon fiend, but we just drew it on the wrong, well, no, we did play the demon fiend, that's right. No gold, that's what we missed out on. Important work. We don't need two of these. Branding right is a very good card. To be able to rage your champion and give him armor is real nice. And I'll admit an ice storm is also pretty good. Do we need to upgrade it? Maybe we want to start thinning the deck. Like, does it really help us now? No, it, yeah, it's a good card if you can make it work in your deck. We don't need it. Maybe we don't need it. We do need to upgrade spells, though. GG Quirk says, I stay for chat. <laughs> nice. I think, I still think the important work combo could be pretty good. Plus 10 magic power. Another vent. A helical crystallis. Make this free. And by free, I mean one. Remove consume. I mean, that's still pretty good, but I kind of like it consuming and healing us slightly. So we'll put the consume on like a, a, a torch. Make branding right cheaper. Really didn't get what we wanted, which was holdover, but it is what it is. We have the cash. Maybe we'll purge some freaking cards for once. So you ever think about that, huh? Get rid of this train steward. You know what we could also get rid of? How about this other train steward? Do we have lots of units? No, do we need lots of units? Well, ideally, no, but we'll see. It would be cool if cool if Abe voice acted. I don't think I'm a good voice actor. I stumble too much. Shopkeeper for game. What you buying? What are you selling? 
<laughs> Thank you. Thanks, stranger. <laughs> How can I not? How can I? Oh, the freaking Horebreaker Prince is just gonna freaking die unless we draw spells. We have a lot of spells. Okay. Sage says, never really gotten to Terraria. Did you catch Abe's Cuphead playthrough? I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun with Cuphead. That was a fantastic game. There's a demon fiend again. <laughs> but we have room for the imp now on this floor, which is nice. We gotta play the vent. So that means, oh, you're gonna freaking make it to the pyre, you piece of GD garbage. Okay, how about, how about, how about, how about, how about play you. Play you up here. Torch, Titan's Tooth, Torch, Torch. You're gonna have... This is all Camper the Lather Helper. I hate to say it, I think... I should have played the uh, Spell Weakness later. I think we gotta ice him. Doing the trial does give you more money than the Collector. I want the Collector. But I can't rely on drawing a Vent or a Titan's Tooth next turn. Which we would need to live. We did draw it, so it could have been okay. We have not played an imp. You're taking 36. You should die up here. Although if we play helical, we'll kill you here and the champion will, will heal slightly. Then we can play the Titan's Tooth here. We can get a, a champion kill next turn. Healed the pyre. Yeah, you will die. Our champion is looking very light on ye old HP front, but he's he's making it. He's still making it. We need the vent and the fortify next turn. I mean, we need the vent. If we don't draw the vent, I think we're dead. So... Maybe that can help us keep our champion. Oh, thank God. It's gonna say maybe it'll help us keep the champion alive. Luckily, we're keeping him alive regardless. You're getting one kill. We have to play the vent. If we spell weakness, we can probably kill one of them. We might not get the killing blow though. This does 26 damage. Yeah, we're gonna spell weakness the second position enemy then play the vent for maximum value. We're only taking nine? Dude, that's not bad. Really wish that we had gotten the fortify earlier, of course, but what are you gonna do? Because you freaking sweep and lifesteal like a son of a gun. So if we, by the way, if we get the, uh, the armor imp next turn, I think we'll be okay, but we really do need to get the armor imp next turn. You have to go. You will die in one hit. Gain two energy, draw one. Tell you what, we'll play this imp up here and we might play important work if we need card draw next turn. But I'm really hoping for the armor imp. We freaking got him. You play the armor imp, you bring him back. You play the armor imp. Now we're doing 487 damage. The Titan's Tooth is 526. You're gonna have zero spell weakness, but hopefully we draw a couple of spells to kill you next turn. That's pretty good. And then we have to look at the health. We have 88 HP and we'll gain another seven. Eighty-eight, huh? Eighty-eight, and we'll gain another seven. 
88, armor 15, you hit for 8. 88 and we gain another 7. So this gives us more damage. This gives us more damage. They are taking 610. Just a couple of spells. A couple of spells. 151. Guess what? You're dead. Guess what? You're super dead. Alright, that was extremely close. <laughs> Maybe we should be a little bit scarier of the trials, but I mean, we're, we made it work. We're kind of making it work. I think an Inferno fits. The sap is very interesting because you can you can reduce the damage that your champion takes, which does help quite a bit. And I like drain. The sap three on a single target is very good against bosses. Hey, say thank you for the massive gift subs. Thank you very much. Hold on, I gotta scroll up because I wasn't reading chat for a couple of minutes. <laughs> You didn't say anything, you just gifted subs. Well, I appreciate it nonetheless. I think we should all team up and find him an agent. Abe, 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 do we have a deal chat? Hey, look. Find someone to uh, manage myself for myself. I'll do whatever you want. Do we need unit upgrades? Yes, desperately. So, let's go unit upgrade path. We want quick. Plus five, plus ten. Very good upgrade. Now you're you're perfect. Rage seven. We want the imp to die every turn, so let's reroll. Endless, endless on the transcendent for even more armor. I love it. Ten attack. I mean, we could put that on the steel worker. It's not great though. Um, I don't know. We could put also put it on the demon fiend. Let's put it on the Steelworker. It, it doubles your attack, which I think is is pretty valuable. We're about to fight Fell. We tend to not get much money on the Fell fight, so let's save the cash so we can do some upgrades. Cash for gold, huh? Pog. <laughs> Billy three Twitch, hello, welcome to chat. Pog, indeed. Safe has always been a uh, a wonderful supporter of the stream. He's a good man. Because I can heal the pyre with consume cards, I think this is not bad. I'm still desperately looking for a holdover spell for the imp card because I really want to get the armor imp every turn, but I still feel like maybe we need more damage from spells, but I don't know how to get that right now. Okay, garbage in our hand. Um, garbage draw, let's be honest. Am I okay taking 10 damage at the bottom? I gotta find a way to kill you. It's gonna be an AoE spell. I think we do this. We take the five pyre damage and we just get ourselves in a position where we're killing units. And honestly, the quick sweeper will kill you immediately, so that's that seems like a fantastic idea. I don't want to Titan's Tooth down here to, to break you. I could Titan's Tooth up here just to kind of help out the damage. Very nice. We can't armor imp on the champion, but we have we have a holdover armor card for this purpose. You're taking 16. This is going to change very quickly. There we go. Now you're taking one. You're living, but you'll die on the next floor, and you're not even going to hit us on the next floor, which is perfect. Drain. The champion is not killing. The vent will allow the champion to kill. Question is, will we need to vent the front enemy unit to kill him, or can we vent the back enemy unit and do 80, 82 damage to kill the front enemy unit? If we get hit three times, we gain 
9 Rage, which is 18 damage. 67 will bump up to 85. 85 is 20 damage. So yeah, that'll kill. So we can hit the middle unit with Energy Siphon to do more damage to them, and the Demon Fiend will kill them on this turn. Max. <laughs> Take a minute to think about your actions. Think about what do you play where. You'll find, you just might find, you get what you need. This does blow a little bit. We might not kill on this turn, which really blows, because we're just waiting on Fortify. Oh right, we have Inferno. I wanted to kill the crap minions that add garbage anyway, so I'm, I'm okay with this. They'll buff your damage to 83 and I can do 12 to you. Which will take you down to 93. You're, you're one H, you are one damage away from killing this guy. You can, you can get him down to one HP, are you kidding me? Because Energy Siphon Frozen Lance does 12 damage. That means this guy is gonna go down to 93 at a base of 83 thanks to the torch, we get hit three times, that's nine, That's 18 damage, not nine damage, we'll be able to kill you, don't worry about it, bro. Okay, in that case, now you're dead. Play this, play this. Gain two energy, draw a card. If there's, if there's ever a turn for it, I think it's right now. Just keep bringing that impact. The middle floor is important because the spell weakness will allow our spells to do more damage. It's perfectly, perfectly good to put it there. Okay, so we're gonna buff our damage by 18. That means we are getting a kill and you're dying. You're living. You'll still live, huh? You'll have spell weakness. And we have an Inferno, we can just dump that on the top floor if we want. You're both dying. That's good enough. I can accept it. Capacity would be really nice, but I think card draw might be better. We have the four energy, more cards would be awful nice. I hate getting the ultimate penance in hand. Because then I gotta choose whether to, to play this or Inferno. Well, actually, I can do both, because the event will kill you. In fact, if I play it for one, you'll also die, but there's no point in playing a Frozen Lance at the bottom. So, there you go. Six thirty-seven. That's not a lot of damage, but we really need to play, and the more I think about it, the more I think that we have to do it like this. I think we need to play Icy Silophite on the same floor as the Prince. The problem with that is that the Silophite's gonna both A, steal kills, and B, prevent the Hornbreaker from taking damage. And if you prevent him from taking damage, he's not gonna deal damage. As much, I, sh I guess. Hmm. Transcendent just doesn't matter. That could have gone a little bit better. But you're taking 148 and you're gonna have a lot of spell weakness, I hope. So. Oh, you know what? You know what? There's a problem. If we play like Helical Crystals up here, it's gonna kill this thing <laughs> instead of killing you. I don't know how to handle that. I don't know how to adjust for that right now. We need like Inferno to show up. <laughs> well, like, I can still do like 400 damage to you, but it's not nearly enough. We're absolutely de dead, by the way. Like this is 300 and then there's some spells and then there's a unit and you're taking 19 to, okay, yeah, we're dead. It was worth an attempt. It was worth an attempt. We try. We we didn't start this run run really 
We did not start this run really with any sort of a synergy with our Hell Horde. We kind of had to build it ourselves. And I think maybe going for the Demon Fiend was not what we wanted because we have to spend so much energy on him. The capacity could have been better spent putting out imps and getting the imps stronger. But also not being able to put uh, spikes on your champion to get free kills makes it harder for him to, to armor up. In the end, you know, he was not doing that much damage against Fell, and we had no other real damage dealers, and our spells did not really work out the way we wanted to on the top floor because we never killed that uh, that Guardian, and the Guardian took essentially 315 damage away from us. More, in fact. Probably took, like, uh, close to 800... Well, not 800. Probably close to, like, 400 damage away from us. That could have been used to kill Fell. Not amazing, not a 10 out of 10, but, uh, hey, we tried. We had a couple of, of good options here. You know, the Endless Imps are, are nice. The Quick Icy Silophite is okay. Didn't get Drain when we wanted it. Didn't get hold over for our, our Imp card. But again, you know, we can't hold over Imp on the Prince on that because we put the Demon Fiend in the back. We could only hold over on the... Where are you? Steelworker. Which is more spell weakness, but you know what? Not enough. Probably wouldn't have been enough.